Contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hey everyone, Tim from timscomputerfix.net again. Hey, got this quick little video here for you. Another take you along for the ride type of thing. I uh, just got a gateway uh, thin client computer in. Looks very familiar to some of the other ones I had in, but this is a... Uh, this is a... Uh, This is a Gateway SX2110G-UW308 little desktop computer here. So uh, basically what's going on is there's there's getting a uh, Windows is throwing up an error when you boot it. Not even Windows, just the system's throwing up an error. It won't even boot into Windows. It said please have your recovery disk or whatever. So uh, don't know what's going on. It won't go to safe mode, nothing like that. It just keeps going to that one error screen saying you need a system disk or a recovery disk. But anyway, I just like to test a hard drive. I like to uh, get this uh, hard drive out of this case. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the hard drive out of one of these uh, little modulated type, type desktops here. So we're going to just remove. There's one screw, two screws you take off the back here, and this just slides right off. And then, of course, we have our little small motherboard and all that. I think on a previous video, I was uh, showing you another system that had a, a, a really small motherboard. Uh, this one here at least has a modular or at least a, a power supply, that, that a, a real power supply, not a brick. But um, still, a little small processor, you know, probably a fairly weak machine, I would say. Anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about though. We got to get to the hard drive, which is actually if I can pick this up and lay it down here because we know that this is our CD drive here and if we follow our cables down and it's a bit dark down there, I don't think we can see the hard drive is basically buried underneath this. So we got to kind of figure out how we're going to remove um, this CD drive from the case from the yeah from the case so we can access the hard drive so there's no obvious levers or any uh, plastic slides or clips that kind of hold this into place so I'm thinking we're probably going to have to probably remove this shell this front front plate here to uh, kind of gain access to something that might allow us to to get this off. Now I can just take uh, these three we can just kind of pull this pull this away. So we take these three clips and pull them away and the door just comes unhinged, just hinges on this side. Okay. Alright, so what that does once that once this cover is off is that exposes a couple of screws here. And these are the screws that we're going to take out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take off this screw here. Hmm. Take off this screw here. Lay it down like so. So now you can see we're loose. We come straight up. See what we can do. I think we can come straight up. I'm just trying to determine if we should take the cables off yet. Nope. The whole assembly comes right out and it looks like, uh, yep, there's some cable, cable management. Yep. Okay, so right down here, I don't know if you can see this, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Yep, it's just a clip that's holding these wires down. We can bend that up, we can bend that up. So, and now the wire comes up a little bit better. 
Um, and then at this point, it's a little bit easier. Then we could just probably just go ahead and unplug our power cable here on this side on the back from the DVD drive. And we can also go ahead and unplug our power from the hard drive and our data from the hard drive. And we can see that the hard drive is mounted. We'll go ahead and unplug the SATA there too from the CD drive. But now you can see that the hard drive is actually mounted to on a bracket mounted to mounted along with the CD drive. Yep, so easy enough from this point. We just take out these screws. They're holding the hard drive into place. It looks like this whole plate is just riveted to this whole bracket. So there's no separating this bracket at all. All right. And there we have it. Hard drive is now coming out. Okay, and that's it. That's how you remove a hard drive from this gateway unit.